our flexible snake cam should be able to give us a 360 degree view of whatever's under our feet. Okay, camera is on and recording. Here we go. You ready? Oh, look at that. Okay, it's going down. This is so cool. Oh, okay, so this is the end of the pipe and now it's just a, a raw borehole, okay. So now we're through the pipe. Okay, we're two thirds of the way there. Sebastian, you're killing me. What is down here? Surprise. <laughs> oh. Whoa. oh, stop, stop, stop. What? It's a tunnel. Are you kidding me? Are those tracks? Yes. Uh, like railroad tracks? Uh, yes, tracks, yeah. It's a tunnel. This tunnel, carved through an extinct volcano by the Nazis, has been rediscovered after 80 years. This is proof that the Nazi map is real. But what lies out of our camera's field of view? Oh, there is a tunnel. Look at that! Wait, what is that? Wuzegurnicze. It's a what? It's a minecart. It's a minecart? Yes. On the tracks. It's a huge tunnel. Yeah. Look, just in and of itself, this is an absolutely astounding view. Sebastian leads me downhill, where I quickly realize the scale of his group's ambition. Wow. Cutting lumber? Yeah. This is, is this all part of the project? Yes, lumber and then the steel and the ma machine. Wow. All to the project. And since confirming the map is accurate, they have worked nonstop three shifts a day just to get where they are now. Spectacular undertaking. Get yeah. out of here. Oh. My word, are you? This is the tunnel. Yes. Oh my God, look at this place. Huge amounts of construction here. Hey, Sebastian. Yes? This is all new construction? Yes. You did all this? Tak. So they had to build up all of this, all of this that you see around us here. Okay. Teraz jesteśmy na 46 metrze od we, początku torów. We are on meter 36 here. So the big tunnel with the minecart is past this wall. Yes, yes. The wall consists of stones that have been stacked floor to ceiling and extend deep into the passage. 10 meters from here, it, will, it was all stacked like this on yes. purpose. 10 meters of, of stones? 10 yes. meters were a buffer. They don't know exactly why it was, but it was put here on purpose. So for 30 feet, there's been stacked stones being pulled yes. out of here? Yes. yes. So whatever's on the other side of this wall was intentionally sealed behind 30 feet of rocks. I can't think of anything I've ever seen that was as well protected. Okay, it's, it's, it's like they can see through it. Until this point, we only were there with cameras, but this today, we, when we remove the stones, we can actually enter. Can I see? Yes. Oh! <laughs> yes, there is a tunnel. Ghost? <laughs> ghost. Yes, it is a ghost. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Yeah. Or yeah? Original and stay. And it's, and it's not collapsed? Not, not collapsed, yes. No. Yes. Uh, good news. That is amazing. Yeah, everybody be very careful, guys. This section of the tunnel is muddy and flooded, and the supports have been soaking it all in for 80 years. The threat of collapse is ever present. Oh, it's very interesting. Look at that here. Oh, look at this. It's like a cross yeah. section of this is whole insane. Structure, you know, they've got steel beams. The roof is not finished. No, but it is much more supported than the other part of the tunnel, yeah? Yes. What's above us is remarkable, but nothing compared to what we find at our feet. Look at this. So now we have railroad tracks, and these go all the way to the entrance to the tunnel, yes, yeah? Yes. And we don't know how far back. And you have material, wood material prepared to... So are these, these are what? These are beams that never got put up? Yes. So and kind here, of... here, for example, there's another part Look at this! So tall. Pickaxe, look at this. Just literally left here, leaning against the wall. How crazy is that? It's actually kind of 
kind of eerie because you can just imagine a worker here just laying that down, you know? I mean, it's like somebody was just here. Despite how it looks, this tunnel wasn't a mine. All of this looks like they were just in the middle of construction. I'm also amazed just when you really see without the wood what they were drilling through here. I mean, this must have been a huge amount of effort. This is not like soft earth. They're drilling through basalt. I mean, that's incredible. It's very possible that it was made by prisoners. Yeah, exactly. During World War II, Germany established over 450 forced labor and extermination camps inside Poland as the Nazis implemented Hitler's final solution to his so-called Jewish problem. Some of their names, Auschwitz, Treblinka, Sobibor, are burned into history like a brand, but others have been tragically forgotten, like the work camp here in the town of Luban. The tunnel I'm in now was likely a product of some of that slave labor. It is a literal scar in the countryside of Poland, one that time alone cannot fully heal. Wow. We follow the rotting electrical cables toward the minecart we saw from the surface until the tunnel widens in the darkness. Oh, my word. A big intersection here. Now it just opens up. There's our minecart, and we've got a four-way intersection here. We can go to here? Yes, okay. it's in this place. We've this got part a... here, this roof, is very dangerous. The supports above have long rotted away, making every second we spend here a calculated risk. I, I want to know what's in that mining cart. Anything? Carefully. Oh, look at this. We got tools in here. A shovel, and then a broken shovel head, another shovel here. Oh, and there's a second cart. It looks like uh, some accident because this crashed. So right, they look them. like they're kind of, like they hit each other or they're piled up. And this one is empty. This is empty? Mm -hmm. And then a kind of a turntable here for the carts to go in different directions. Can we look at the map here for a second again? Let's kind of get our bearings here. So we are here at this intersection here. This is supposed to go a big straight tunnel to the left. Turn it right. turns, yeah. Why do you think it does that? Nobody knows in this moment. <laughs> For the first time, Sebastian's map, which has guided him unerringly to this moment, now proves to be inaccurate. The tunnels don't seem to go where they should be going. Deciding where to explore next, Sebastian nixes the offshoot to the right, since it appears to be in even worse condition than our current path, which leaves us with a left-hand turn. So let's see why this changes direction, yeah? There is just no protection above us here at all. And a billion pounds of yeah. rock. Okay, let's see what's around this corner. Whoa! Okay, we got a dead end here. Looks unfinished. Look at these drill bits, wow. And then a few more against the wall. And then literally a drill bit, wow, right at the end. The big question is, where's the drill? I think it was more expensive. You think they took it with them? Yes. It's amazing though, it's like they literally just were here and then just like said, okay, that's it, we're leaving. They were working till the end. Right, they really were. You can even see in the wall, it looks like where they started to drill here. You can see that the, the tunnel is going to continue here. The drill bit they just took out of the end of the drill, dropped it on the ground, and that's it. In fact, just workers are missing from this place. I mean, that, that's it, right. It really does, it makes it seem like this was probably forced labor, right? Because if there's no personal items, maybe there's people here who have no personal items. We're here for only a moment, but it becomes clear that this dead end has a potential to be our end as well. Hey, Josh, look at that. Oh, the crack. It's really dangerous. And here as well. The way that the rock fractures in these clean lines, it can just fall out of the ceiling. Yeah, for sure. We make our way out of these tunnels. My jaw is still dragging on the ground as we leave. Being a part of this discovery has been nothing short of an awe-inducing experience. 
Yet it seems clear that this system is but one piece in a larger puzzle here in Luban. The radar station is another, and the weapons factory as well. The full picture is not yet complete. Who knows what the team will find when the whole complex is excavated? Eventually, Sebastian hopes to turn this site into a museum, so that the people of Luban will have a tangible connection to a dark chapter of their past, a light at the end of this tunnel, so to speak.